So what have you learned today that you wish you had with you when you were um, in in the service? Uh, the biggest thing is you can't control everything around you, regardless of how much you think you can, how much you train, how much you uh, work as a team, as an individual, whatever. Uh, Murphy is always going to stick his head in. Usually when Murphy sticks his head in, bad things happen. So you just got to be paired and flexible and flexible with every minute, knowing that you can't control what the outcome is always going to be. And giving up that control, it, it was a big for me coming out because I was that go-getter, that guy that wanted to control the outcome of everything, felt that I could control it. But again, that was all that stuff just getting packed in the back saying, I can control you, go away. I'm not I'm not going to deal with you today. Instead, well, now that I'm out, I let it happen and I work through the situation instead of trying to control the situation and just stick it in my backpack. Talking to others that are like-minded that understands what I what I'm going through and what I've gone through is just as much healing as, as anything else as well. I mean, that's, that's a big part of it. Uh, and I had to realize that it's okay to talk to others because they're going through the same thing. They're not wanting to talk to nobody. And when you don't talk to anybody about your issues, then nothing can get resolved. But when you start working together and that, and that's one reason why I do the therapy as part of my course is, we get the guys every evening in a circle and uh, each person tells their story each night. One person tells their story each night. And I do that specifically not for a therapy like you got to have therapy and, and you got to talk about your issues. No, it, it's more or less like, hey, this is where we're at. This is my issues, because guess what? The person beside you are having the same issues. They just don't have the, the courage to say it or they don't recognize it because they they don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I do the therapy portion with, with my program. And that's why I think it works so well is is just being able to talk to like minded people that you you've worked with or worked in the same situation scenario. It gives strength when you when you're telling your story and the same guy beside you has that same story. It just and then that just builds and then it's just one big snowball going down the hill. <laughs> And it's like an avalanche, right? Yeah. If you can get everybody on the same sheet of music, instead of saying, yeah, I ain't got no issues, that avalanche is going down the hill. It's going to clear the whole path. You just got to stay out of the way and let it do its work. Instead of beating on your chest, being like, you know, I'm I'm a special forces Navy SEAL, PJ that don't need any help. Yeah, we, we all need help at some times, regardless of what unit and what tier we are. You know, sometimes just talking about it with our friends or is is the way to go. And I had to learn that because I, I I totally was the um, the textbook example of what not to do. Uh, <laughs> PTSDs and TBIs and, and, and not taking a, uh, a knee until I was forced to.